Hello, I'm Ryan F9 and this is the best heated gear. No need to start complicated, thermocell pocket warmer. You're probably familiar with the disposable version of this. My mom used to hand them out like candy during family ski trips. They cost like a toonie. So why oh why buy a fancy electronic warmer for 85 bucks? For one, the lithium ion battery has a good 500 charges in it. So at 17 cents per use, it's actually cheaper. For two, it's more effective. Now the heat only comes out the red side, so you're not losing half your energy to mother nature. And that is how we prevent global warming. For three, the heat is adjustable. Hold the button once for around body temperature. You hold it twice for a little bit more, and then you're gonna hold it three times for a peak temp of around 47 degrees Celsius, ish. Obviously the number will fluctuate a bit if you're riding Toronto in August or Winnipeg in October. It's not that well regulated. But still worlds better than the old disposables. And with them you would normally burn for 30 seconds, sweat like a pig for 20 minutes, and then freeze solid an hour later. Now heating like that actually does more harm than good. Stats! The unit charges with a USB to micro USB, also known as that cable you have like three of in the back of your drawer. It takes four hours to fully charge up and it'll heat for six hours on low, five on medium, and four on high. Again, depending whether or not you live in Winnipeg. The shell is shock and water resistant TPU. Of course, I'd prefer to hear the word proof. Also, the heating pad is medical grade silicone, just in case you wanted to get it implanted, I guess. Now, having a warmer in your pocket is one thing, but I would get a proper vest liner if it's really cold outside. This is the Tourmaster Synergy 2.0 and it costs 275 bucks. Now, of course, you can get full sleeve jacket liners for more money, or indeed proper full heated jackets for even more yet. But I think this is great because it lets you keep whatever motorcycle jacket you already have over top, and because it keeps your core hot, there should be plenty of warm blood flow moving to your arms anyway. The thing about the Synergy is that it has a built-in thermometer. That means it stays at the temperature I set it to. And so when I ride out on a chilly morning, I don't have to constantly keep turning the heat down as the day gets warmer. The thermometer also acts as a fail-safe, just in case I'm stupid enough to connect this thing to a thousand volt battery and the 15 amp fuse fails to blow, well, in that case, the thermometer will turn the jacket off at dangerous temperatures so I don't cook myself. Speaking of which, it is actually safe to use this thing in the rain. Now, it feels weird for an electronic vest that's lined with steel fiber elements, but it's true. In fact, if you remove the battery harness and the temperature controller, the Synergy vest is actually machine washable. Two things I like and one I don't. First bit of good news is the collar, which is actually tall enough to cover your neck. Second benefit is heat delivery. Hook it up to the 12 volt in your motorcycle and boom. You're warm. I was really amazed by how instantly I felt the heat. Just make sure to layer above the liner and not below it. Now, there's only 100 grams of polyfill in here, so you're definitely going to want some kind of thicker insulating jacket over top. But underneath, you actually want something thin and breathable, like a quick wicking athletic shirt or something. That'll let you best feel the heat. The one thing I don't like is the controller. Why is this so big, 2017? Aren't we past this? Any electronic that comes with a thigh harness is too large. I do appreciate that this is a double controller in case I want to add some Synergy gloves or something, but damn. Speaking of gloves, avoid heated ones. Because of all the focus on warmth, they tend to do a pretty shit job of motorcycle safety. The only decent ones I've found come from Gerbing, and they're so expensive. The alternative is to buy heated liners to wear underneath your regular gloves, but I find that a little bit uncomfortable and it does result in a seriously vague contact feel on your bike's controls. There has to be a better way. And there is. Oxford makes some killer heated grips that allow me to keep my own riding gloves and my tactile response. Now they come from Britain, a place where cold and wet rides are known simply as rides. The heater's grips dole out the warmth in five levels, which is more than enough. In fact, at 100%, it's almost painful to keep my hands on here. Of course, the tops of my fingers still get cold, so I normally wear a decent insulated glove anyway. The grips themselves feel great. Now where your hands rest, there's a dense block tread for maximum vibration cancellation and durability. And then I get a really sticky diamond tread pattern where I actively grip and twist the throttle. The best thing about the Oxford heaters is the battery saving mode. And if you forget to turn them off, this will automatically put the grips on standby when your motorcycle isn't running. And that way you won't come back to a dead bike. Speaking of which, these only draw four amps, so they're not gonna kill your bike via the fuse box either. Installation takes about an hour. It's a very simple harness down to the battery and a very basic glue on grip. And the most laborious part is actually cutting and peeling off the old ones. Also, it does take a little bit of creativity to find a decent place to stick this thing. Now, Oxford makes a bunch of fitments for ADV, sport, cruising, commuting, touring, ATV, and scooter. And the main difference really is just the length of the grip 
and the interior diameter. Aside from your hands, the other extremity you'll have to worry about is your feet. I'll do the song and dance one more time. Yes, you can buy full heated boots. Yes, they tend to be overpriced because they're heated. And no, the boot itself usually isn't as competent as a regular riding boot. Better to use a heated insole with the footwear you already have, and the best of which is the Thermocell Proflex. Now stats are similar to that other Thermocell thing we saw, the heated pocket warmer. Now, it's up to six hours on the lowest setting and four or less on high. The difference I noticed is that these don't feel as hot to the touch. They're more about maintaining a constant positive temperature inside your boots so your feet neither sweat nor freeze. Now whatever. The most useful thing I can say is that I felt comfortable with these. On the bike, that is. Now, the insoles are actually quite stiff for walking, whereas the cushion-covered battery is extremely soft. And that means I can feel its outline on my heel with every step, and that's annoying. But again, on the bike, it's fine. Thermocell brags about this carrying case, which feels very cheap and is undoubtedly something that I'll never use. So that's that. They should have spent more time talking about the battery case, which also doubles as a dual charging station, connected via this USB to micro USB cable to either your computer or to the wall. Four hours to charge two batteries, one for each foot. You'll want to wear thin athletic socks for the best results, as was true with the vest we saw. Also, sizing is imprecise, so get your scissors ready. If heated insoles are so interesting to you that you bother to check out the competition, you'll notice that Thermocell makes a heavy duty version for about 20 bucks more, and also an original version for $50 less. The heavy duty version can quick charge in two hours, which I suspect isn't that great for the battery. Also, it's controlled via Bluetooth and a rather finicky cell phone app. Personally, I prefer the simple remote, but if fiddling with your smartphone in minus 40 appeals to you, by all means, spend more on the heavy duty version. And if you're tempted to spend less on the original version, just know that it doesn't have removable batteries. That means you're gonna have to take the insoles right out of your boots every time you wanna charge them. And that's it for my favorite heated gear. Thanks for watching.